People in one small community in New Mexico have no worries at all. They don't do power outages, and they don't have empty shelves in their grocery stores. Not for them. The catch? They live in trash. Houses made of actual garbage, and all things recycled. Earth ships are like the iron skillet. They hold temperature. Conventional housing is like the tin pan. It just it loses whatever you put in it immediately. Rather than, than uh, piping heat into your house and ducting it around your house, for instance, the Earth ship itself is a heating unit. Construction of the average house emits 65 tons of carbon dioxide, and that's the equivalent of 130 times the maximum weight ever lifted by a human. In 2021, in the UK, there were 38,000 homes built, which means the construction of housing in the UK emitted 2.5 million tonnes of carbon dioxide that year, which is a lot. However, when you look at green housing, you also have to consider the operational carbon emissions, not just the upfront construction emissions. And as explained in a previous video, heating a home tends to use the most energy. The average house in the UK will emit 2.7 tonnes of carbon dioxide just from heating each year. And this figure will be more useful when we compare it to the operational emissions of green housing in just a minute. If you're anything like me, I know you would have heard of the term spaceship, but have you heard of the term earthship? Imagine a home that is made from recycled materials, that is naturally cool in the summer, and that is warm in the winter. This describes earthships, and earthships are effectively self-sustaining adaptive shelters which generate their own resources through passive techniques. The earthship concept was born in 1971 by an architect called Michael or Mike Reynolds in New Mexico, USA. Mike was inspired by TV news stories about the lack of affordable housing and about the problem of there being too much waste. And whilst earthships began as being built up with waste binded to dirt, designs have changed over the past 50 years to better capture natural resources. With our dumps overcrowded with cans and tires, Michael came up with a way of turning this refuse into a natural resource for creating high quality housing that you could build yourself for as little as $15 a square foot. The earth ships are made from automobile tires rammed with earth. It's a rammed earth technique. Essentially, it is a tire uh, with earth beat into it so that it becomes a three foot diameter brick encased in steel belted rubber. The details then from there are very similar to Adobe. So you can essentially start your house by laying a tire on the ground and starting to put earth into it. And since the advent of earthships, Mike and his team have built and continue to build communities of earthships in New Mexico. In fact, it's believed the earthship community is much stronger now than it was in the 1970s, despite there being only about 3,000 in total worldwide. And as Mike defined it, Earthships address six humanitarian needs, which are comfortable shelter, electricity, water, self-treating and containing your own sewage, food, and dealing with your own garbage. So the idea is that these homes store as much energy as they can from natural elements. For this reason, glass tends to be facing the sun and tilted by an optimal angle, Water is almost always harvested directly from the roof where it is passed through a sequence of natural filters. That water is then used for washing, bathing and laundry. And then any wastewater from those processes is once again filtered and used to flush toilets and water plants. Earthships also generate their own electricity, predominantly through the use of solar panels. However, now we have many other methods of generating electricity, such as through water pumps or through wind turbines. So the main idea of an earthship is that it allows for self-sufficient living, meaning less dependence on resource providers. And as each person and family has different consumption demands and preferences, earthship design does need to vary and is also very flexible. If you have an idea to utilize the resources that you require where your earthship is based, then be creative and try it. 
So let's quantify the benefits from earth ships and what I've called in this video greenhousing. So remember I said about the construction and operational carbon costs. So let's dive into it. So construction carbon cost of an earth ship is 3.5 tons of carbon dioxide, which is far less than the 65 tons from a traditional house. In fact, it's 18 times less carbon dioxide emissions. Furthermore, for the operational carbon cost of an earth ship, it's only 0.68 tons per year compared to 2.7 tons per year for a traditional house. So you're probably wondering why earth ships aren't deployed everywhere, or at least that's what I was thinking. So generally earth ships tend to perform worse in colder and more humid climates, hence why the majority are in New Mexico. It is also difficult to gain a permit for an earth ship and it is necessary that local construction codes and zoning regulations are adhered to, which obviously change dependent on your location. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you'd like to support the channel, please like this video and also subscribe to the channel.